Hi, people. We hope you're having a brilliant day today. It's been a while since we last talked about Yellowstone. It's been months since the show's season 4 has come to an end with a shocking ending. But the ending was not the only one that surprised us about Yellowstone season 4. The entirety of the season was filled with unconventional choices that we haven't seen before. For instance, suddenly, we got to get multiple flashbacks to the 19th century, tying the show to its spin-off series 1883. It was a brilliant move that made us all hooked on the spin-off series. Even the fans who were not considering watching 1883 had to watch it because even the little glimpses into it were too good to ignore. So, we watched 1883 and we have to admit that even we, the hardcore fans of Yellowstone, were not expecting this series to be as good as it is. The show was taking place in the 19th century US right after the Civil War. Expectedly, there were lots of demographical changes that were going on. The migrations to the north were especially popular as many were hoping for a new start in those empty lands that were waiting to be explored. Duttons were one of those families who had big hopes about a future in the northern US. Even though we were not informed about what had happened in their past, we knew that they were a regular middle-class family with proper manners and money. So throughout 1883, we witnessed their journey from Tennessee to Montana. The journey started promising but then became very complicated and tragic for everyone who was participating. There were dangers everywhere, killing people mercilessly. Some bandits have no souls and thus would not hesitate to shoot you down. Of course, none of these were enough to stop a young woman like Elsa from exploring the life, love, and landscape in the era. But, in the end, even she had to give up in face of the evil and got killed off due to a tragic misunderstanding. In the final episode of 1883, we watched James and Elsa sitting under a tree as Elsa is waiting for her death. James promised her there that they will settle in those mountains of Montana and will never leave her. The story ended there, as we learned that the reason why the Duttons ended up in Montana was the fact that they had a very tragic experience of losing a daughter there, which made their land highly valuable. However, from that point to the modern day, we have no clue what else the Duttons had experienced. The only thing we know from a brief flashback scene in Yellowstone Season 4 is the fact that James also got killed off while protecting his ranch from the bandits. We also saw in that clip that John Dutton Sr. had a brother. The scene suggested that John Dutton Sr. had to grow up to be the man of the family at a very young age due to the loss of his father, while Margaret had been a single mother to her children. This information is valuable to us because we know that 1883 isn't coming with the second season. Instead, it's coming with a new follow-up series named 1932 that will follow John Dutton Sr. in his adult life. Of course, this also means that there will be many new cast members that will join the Yellowstone universe. One name that we got confirmation for is Harrison Ford, a Hollywood veteran with lots of banger movies such as the Indiana Jones franchise and Blade Runner. To be honest, we cannot believe that we will get a name that is as high-profile as Kevin Costner in the Yellowstone universe. We don't think that things can get any better than this. We expect Ford to play the part of John Dutton Sr. He will probably be the man that the modern-day John Dutton is most similar to. He is likely to have a bad temper, but also a smart mind that enabled the ranch to be flourished. We also expect him to be still traumatized by the early deaths of his sister and father, both of whom are likely to have some comebacks in the series through flashback scenes. We expect Ford to be accompanied by yet another Hollywood veteran, Helen Murren. She is likely to play the wife of John Dutton Sr. or a rival rancher of the sharp temper. We don't think the creator of the show, Taylor Sheridan, would provide a name like Murren with a small part. Instead, we expect her to be the mastermind behind the modern Yellowstone Ranch as she is likely to encourage John Dutton Sr. with her visionary ideas. We know that Kelly Riley, who plays the part of Beth Dutton in Yellowstone, is very eager to have an appearance in this new series as she is obsessed with Murren. Helen Murren is someone who I did my very, very first TV job with called Prime Suspect when I was 16 years old. She was the first professional actor I worked with. She was incredible, she was fierce and brilliant and everything I wanted to be as an actor. You know, full of courage and heart. The fact that she is such a big fan of the Yellowstone universe and their writing. I mean, who isn't of this writing because it's so juicy. She said in a recent interview. Another good news is the fact that even though 1883 will not get a second season, it will get its own spin-off series starring David Oyelowo. Named 1883. The base reads story, the show will focus on a 19th century lawyer who has become the first deputy U.S. Marshal. Are you excited for the upcoming shows in Yellowstone Universe? Who else do you expect to join in the Yellowstone Universe? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.